Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Golden Baby. In today's video, you guys, we are doing a weekly vlog. Make sure y'all stay tuned in. Don't miss nothing. We are currently outside of Target, but do y'all see anything different? Your girl got red seats. Hold on. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. They look so good. Here's the front. Real cute. Yeah, real cute. This is the back. If I'm being honest, I have been wanting red seats for literally forever, probably like since August, I want to say. So probably like two months. It hasn't been too long, but I've been wanting them. So I finally got them. They were not cheap, you guys. I had to get like the, the ones that really are like luxury. What is the word? Luxurious. So that like they last long for one and so that it actually looks good so i got leather seats um if y'all want the link i will give y'all the link but they are off of amazon but you guys i'm going to insert a clip after this i'm about to go ahead and show you guys what went on this morning it is currently 7 30 in the morning and i have been up for over an hour i could not sleep y'all i was tossing and turning all night long to be honest it's literally because of this hurricane that is coming on today for the people of florida it's like bothering my spirit but one thing that i have always like known to be true is that only god can calm the storms during times like this like i've already said my prayer and i learned the meaning of amen probably about three days ago and it might sound dumb but i'm just being transparent i just thought amen was like a closing sentence I never knew that the true definition, the true definition of a man means so it is so, or just like let it be, like it's done. I never really paid too much attention to that actual word. So I'm trying to just do what that prayer says, like amen, like let it be. So I don't want to keep bothering God with it, but my spirit is not calm. So I am going to show you guys what I do in times where I just can't sleep because I feel the weight of the world. So now that you guys have watched that, I just want to say that honestly, um i feel much better than this morning you guys it's like six hours from this morning and i still haven't went to sleep i just went to the hair store and i didn't record it um i left my camera in the car and i just didn't feel like coming out to get it i'll show you guys what i end up getting we are outside of target as i had said before i ordered some items because they said there was long stock and i didn't want nobody else to get it so i'm going to get the two other items that i need mascara curling definer curling mousse i don't really know what it is so let's go into target y'all This is what I need right here. So yeah, I just looked. That's not what I need. I need this right here. They look very similar, but I don't need that one. Okay, so I have been looking for a mascara and I've heard a lot about this brand. It's Maybelline, of course, but it's the Sky High version. But I just went to the Ulta side and I ended up buying let me show y'all. I ended up buying this one. Um, it's the Tarte mascara. And we're going to see how I like it. It was like $16, so we'll see. If I don't like it, I'll come back and get this one. Okay, you guys. So I grabbed everything from Target and then I went to pick up my other items. The stuff is right here. Y'all, I'll show y'all one of them. I did not know that this was that big. If y'all can see how big this jar is in person, who's going to need this? It's humongous. And it was like $4 online. I had no idea. 
if that's how big it was i would have got the smaller version but you guys now we are about to head to whole foods because i need to pick up a few things yes thank you thank you thank you y'all my mom asked me to get her three pieces of bread from king so that's why i just stopped but now we are about to make our way to whole foods for real <laughs> I'm gonna try this just to see if I like it. If I do, I'll get the bigger one next time. Okay, so really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys what I end up getting in total from Target because after I get done showing you guys, I need to go ahead and wash my hair and try to do my hair, y'all. If y'all don't know, I'm not really a hair doer, like at all. I just like to pay to get my hair done and pay for what I like. But I don't have a hair appointment until um, nine, 10 days from now. And I just want something to like keep me looking pretty cute. And I was just gonna do a natural bun um, once I like wash my hair and stuff like that. But I figured I wanna try to do something else. So first things first, I got this Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cle Cleanse and Rinse. And um, I really needed a different shampoo only because of the fact that I need something that is for one, going to be for thicker hair types and for two, going to hydrate my hair. I need hydrating things right now. So this is the Camille Rose shampoo. Looks so cute. Then I showed y'all this earlier, y'all. Why? I need some gel because y'all might do like this this sleek ponytail, but I want the ponytail to be like curly-ish to give a representation of just like my natural hair. But I needed gel and I was trying to debate if I should do extreme or do, um, what is it called? I, I wanna say it's eco gel, eco styling gel. But when I used to use eco, my hair used to flake y'all because I used to do these ponytails when I, when I was in high school. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't like it. So I heard about this. And I got it, but it's huge. It's extreme gel. And what's more crazy is like, this is gonna be around for a long time because I barely use gel, so. Kinda wish I got a smaller one. I showed you guys this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Um, and it has silk protein and nim oil. Um, I never used this, but I've heard a lot about it. All of these products I kind of like did my research on before I went because I really wanted to know like what to get for my hair type. I want to smell this because I'm not going to record me in the shower and stuff today. Y'all I don't feel like doing that because I'm about to be in there scrubbing my scalp. Oh, this smells really good. Like edible. Guys, I also got this crazy sexy curl. Um, and this was just by a brand that was very like popular on TikTok. I want to say it's Docs, do baby, I don't know, it's D-O-U-X. That's what I got from Target, and y'all wouldn't even believe that this was like $70, if I'm not mistaken. It probably was like $60 to $70, but just for that. Um, but I went to the hair store, you guys, and I got this ponytail. It says that it is a drawstring ponytail in Natural Girl Medium Rod, and this is Freetress drawstring ponytail. This is what it looks like, and this is what I'm going to try to do to my hair. I've seen videos, and I just feel like I can do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm going for the claw clip look, so I got another claw clip from the beauty supply store. This is what it looks like. I just got a black one so it can match my like everyday look. And then I also got a detangling brush. And then I also got some bobby pins to keep my hair intact and then the last two items in here is literally pink brush pink comb y'all i'm about to go ahead and do my hair 
Hopefully it doesn't take long though, because I honestly don't want this to be something that I do like all day long. Hopefully it's just super quick and super easy. Um, I took down my braids and I did not wash my hair last night. So I am definitely about to go ahead and wash my hair and then I will come back to you guys. I know it might be hard to see me y'all and that's okay for right now. We are getting some Panda Express real quick and then I'm going to talk to y'all. Hold on. Hello y'all, come. Hi, can I get a bow? Yes. I would like the um, black pepper steak with half white rice, half super greens. Uh, steamed rice. I'm so sorry, the English steak is baking the, about the 10 minutes you want to wait. You said 10 minutes? Yes. Yeah. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, I'll wait, yeah. Anything else? Um, that'll be. Oh, can I get a small Diet Coke? Okay. Anything else? That'll be all. Will I don't. Oh, the Angus Day is upside down of it, okay? Yeah. Will I donate to the hospital today? No, thank you. No problem. Yeah, there is no thank you. Thank you. Y'all, this is my second time I came here and had to wait for steak. But it's the only thing I eat, so it's like I can't go anywhere else. I have to wait. And like, thank God I'm not in a rush. The small daiko or the... You want the drink, right? Yeah. Is a small daiko? Yeah. Okay. It's a white rice and a super green and the English steak and a small daiko? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want me to wait right there or t on the side over there? I think almost coming. Because, uh, uh, oh, you can change, uh, turn along the next to the door waiting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I can give you the drink first. Okay. I think it's almost coming. It already changed oil. Okay. Thank you so much. You. To be honest, I don't even know what I was saying to y'all. But, um, I end up doing my hair, long story short. It's cool, I like it. I feel like it would be, um, better if I had, like, a bow. So, I'm gonna go to the store tomorrow and get, like, some bows to put in my head. So, like, for church, or if I want to actually get dressed throughout the next, um, like, week and a half, I'll be able to, like, make my hair look, you know, more girly-ish, cute-ish, in my opinion. But, um, honestly, you guys, I want to go and do a devotional because I didn't. And I'm trying to, like, just be outside a little bit more because I know those days are about to be gone. <laughs> Period. Like, once it starts snowing, I'm in the house. And, um, like, I'm going to try to make sure I do little things. But, like, as far as, like, being outside, sitting outside, that would not be me. So, um, I definitely want to go and just do that. I was about to walk around, but I put on Crocs, so we're not going to walk around today. But definitely just want to sit and enjoy the peacefulness of silence outside and just sit there, do my Bible study. And in my night, I know I told y'all I didn't want the hairstyle to take all day, but it did. So let me just tell y'all something. I am not a hairstylist and I'm far from it. Like I know how to make my hair look a certain way, but it also would take me a long time to get it to look a certain way. If that makes sense. Like it's going to look cute because I'm going to do it until I like it. So basically I ended up buying all of those products for no reason because it made my hair way too curly. Like it wasn't even cute. It didn't blend with this. This gives like natural flat iron, not curly I don't know. The the TikToks that I seen, like most of the girls was wetting their hair, putting in the mousse, putting in their curl, you know, woo -woo -woo -woo. and their hair looked like mine, but it did not have the same reaction. Like my hair was way too curly. Yeah, like waves all throughout here. I'm like, no. So I had to wash my hair again, blow dry my hair, flat iron my hair, and then do this. And then I had it up here, like as a high ponytail, probably like right here. And then I was like, ugh, don't like it. It looks like, I don't know, it wasn't given to me. So then I put it in a low ponytail and I like it. And now we are here. Um, what have I been doing since then? I honestly just been doing that. Like, it literally probably took me like four hours on and off though. Because I was stopping. I was like stopping and chill, stopping and look on my phone. And then I had stopped to let my hair actually like lay down. But... 
Yeah, y'all. We're going to get this food, eat outside, try to get this Bible study in before 11 o'clock, and then we're going to go back home. But for now, we're going to wait, and then I'll see you guys when we are outside. We are outside, and I'm not going to lie, y'all. This might be a little quicker than I thought because, baby, it is cold. It is cold. And I should have bought a coat, but it's okay because I'm just going to do the devotional today and not the Bible study because I did a Bible study this morning, as y'all seen. And y'all, it is so cold. Like, I low-key want to just go home. But we're going to get it done. We're going to hurry up. I'm going to spend like 30 minutes on it. And um, it's literally just these three pages, but they're very short. Like this, this, and that. Very short, so I'm about to try to get it done, y'all. It's literally currently 10 at night, 10.05 to be exact. So I get myself to like 10.30. But for real, let me focus. I'm gonna turn on some music real quick and we gonna lock it in. morning you guys good morning good morning good morning i put my scarf back on y'all because i'm black and you know when you're moving around a lot sometimes just sometimes your edges or your hair decides to do whatever it wants to and we don't have time for that but it is the morning and i wanted to try this drink with you guys y'all know i've always used like the health aid kombucha but i am like in the mood to taste something different so i got synergy raw kombucha and trilog trilogy trilogy i don't even know if that's how you pronounce it but that's what i got um and then i just made breakfast i made bacon eggs with egg whites and a bagel this is actually a protein bagel so it's like healthier version but i'm about to try this for y'all and then i'm about to go ahead and eat my food and i'll get back to y'all after i get done eating we have a couple things to do nothing too crazy thank god you guys we have like a very kind week this week honestly very calm not much of anything so i'm gonna try to spend some alone time with myself probably go watch a movie today or something i don't know i just want to get out and do something today i'm in an amazing mood by the grace of god y'all the hurricane went from a category five to a category two and y'all don't even understand when i woke up i literally said god i thank you for speaking to the winds and the waves if y'all didn't know yesterday i did um a Y'all, I think I put it in here, y'all. I'm sorry, my days are, like, mixing me up. But in the morning yesterday, I was feeling so, like, heavy spirit about the hurricane. And I went over, um, I believe it was Mark 4, chapter 35 through, wait, it was Mark 4, 35 through 41, if I'm not mistaken. And I ended up doing, like, a little reel on my social media platform. So if y'all don't follow me on anything, go follow me so y'all can see, like, a little bit more that I do throughout my days but the scripture that I went over basically was the story when Jesus was with his disciples in the Sea of Galilee. And there was a storm and the disciples thought they were about to die. And guess what God did? He said to the winds and the waves, peace be still. And it was. So that's basically was my prayer yesterday for God to just intervene in that hurricane. Because a Category 5 is, is Tampa, the, Florida is done, basically. But we're grateful. We're happy. I'm happy. That made me so so happy. I'm not going to lie. But I'm about to try this with y'all. I keep shaking it like an idiot. Like, stop shaking it. Um, while I wait for this to calm down, 
today I cleaned my bathroom, y'all. That was on. I always make a to-do list, y'all, if y'all don't know. To-do lists are just mandatory. It's a clean bathroom, make breakfast. We just made breakfast. I need to take my vitamins, too. Um, but I have a do a get just get do a get ready with me that is what i do on instagram reels you guys i talk to my people and i get ready with them um go take pictures because i haven't posted pictures in a while i need to get a pair pedicure am i gonna do that i don't know but i really knew, need to get one and i'm not getting a full pedicure because i have my nail tech do my toes now so they would just need to like clean them cut them down scrape off the gunk get in my cuticles and stuff like that um open boxes with y'all i need to go get new flowers because my flowers are very much dead and then probably go watch a movie so that's what's on the agenda today oh that smells awful it smells like ginger like literally what's in here ingredients raspberry juice lemon juice cold pressed ginger juice oh god i just i don't think i'm gonna like it <laughs> I can like the ginger is so strong. Who decided to do this? Okay, honestly, not that bad. But it's not good at all. No. You wanna know what's crazy? Mm. It's the ginger. You wanna know what's crazy though? The fact that I drink kombucha so much prepared me for this because if this was like my first time this would be absolutely disgusting but it's not bad am i gonna use this over my kombucha absolutely not no way but y'all i'm about to go ahead and eat and then i'll get back to you guys once i am dressed i have to make my get ready with me off camera and then i'll come back to you guys when i am dressed so see you on a second so you guys i just got done taking pictures and i'm kind of sad because i should have brought y'all along um because it wasn't as busy as i thought i don't really like taking pictures throughout the day already because it's so many people that literally just walk past and just stare at you like they just look at you like i'd be like oh my god i don't like this but i'm gonna take off these glasses really quick um i took the pictures they are so cute like they are so freaking cute that honestly i am literally in love with them because um when you are so accustomed to wearing like long eyelashes and long weave and doing a lot of stuff sometimes like you really don't be knowing how your picture's gonna hit when you just look barefaced and more natural but it is just super important to never let those additions to you make you feel like you are beautiful because we are beautiful without all of that stuff like truthfully and i'm not saying it because it sounds good like i literally um recognized that i would see a woman with no eyelashes on with her natural hair out and i'd be like bro she looks so beautiful and guess what she would tell me no i look a mess i'm like ew do i do this like when people tell me that when i look beautiful like just natural i literally just be like no i don't so that's what made me recognize like bro we don't need none of that stuff it is literally an addition and that's what it's going to be okay we don't need no no 40 inch bunch stems and no 20 millimeters of lashes to make us look or feel beautiful you know what i'm saying clock it that's why when you also meet people who see past all of those things the first thing that they're going to say is that you are beautiful period period but y'all we took our pictures that is another thing to check off of the to-do list so now y'all we about to try to hurry up and get a small little pedicure and it's not going to be anything long thankfully because i don't need gel polish i need i literally just need them to to, to get into uh, getting them toes so um i don't even know the name of the place that i'm going to and i might want to try to look it up i kind of just know where it's at because i used to live over in this area so i'm trying to go back to where i used to go to because where i live right now they have lost their mind they want me to pay them 70 dollars to just do a pedicure y'all no polish <laughs> no polish i don't know about y'all 
but I'm not doing that. There's literally no polish. There's no reason for for all of that in the first place because pedicures are already high. But I'm definitely not paying seventy dollars for no gel. Are you good? So once I get in there, I'll kind of show you guys a couple of clips of me getting my toes done, and then directly after that, we need to go to probably Kroger, honestly, because I think that's close. What else do I need? We can go to, to Walmart or Kroger, one of the two, because I need turkey bacon, cream cheese. I need to get some more flowers. I told you guys that. Um, my Kroger flowers lasted a very long time, though, so I don't know. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys in a second. I'll get back to you guys. sake of literally time oh no i'm about to bag up a little bit for the sake of time you guys i am not going to go and get the flowers and stuff right now um if i don't make it today i'll just go get it tomorrow but i most likely just do it after the movies because i don't know if y'all can tell like from the back of me the side of me it's a lot of traffic and i'm on the other side of town so it's gonna already take me like 30 minutes to get home and i need to make sure that i eat because i did not eat lunch but i did have this granola bar in my purse and this is from whole foods actually it's a fruit and grain bar and it's blueberry real good so i'm about to eat this while i'm in traffic because honey i'm hungry like actually hungry and i don't know why i do this to myself like i will be hungry until the point that i have a headache but it's so much traffic y'all that it's ridiculous i'm about to eat this and i got me a little bottle of water the nail salon gave me one i guess it comes with like you know when you get your toes done or something done but yeah you guys i'll see you guys when i'm back home to eat lunch okay so as you guys can see i am back home and i got lunch and i also am going to try these canned kombuchas this is the peak lady apple kind a matter of fact i'm about to try it with y'all i don't have the camera on a tripod right now so just bear with me because i know this angle ain't it but here's what it's looking like and we're gonna try it very 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 fizzy fuzzy if that's the right word don't know very fuzzy fizzy ad city it tastes like the bigger bottle i was just scared that it was going to taste like different but it's still fine but i'm about to go ahead and eat this and i will get back to you guys when we are on the way to the movies which is literally like in an hour if that at this point um but yeah i'll get back to you guys we are watching um What's the name of that movie? Actually supposed to be a very good movie and it's about Jesus in a sense of the person was um, praying on the field as a football coach, I want to say. And basically he ended up starting to get like hate messages and um, him and his wife ended up going through a very tough time. Yada, yada, yada. It's based off a true story. Um, and all of those good things because y'all know they love to tell people they can't pray and stuff when, when they at school or whatever. So... It's about that, but I'm going to make sure I tell y'all what exactly the movie is when I get back to y'all. Okay, you guys, so this is what I changed my outfit to. Literally, I still have on the same shirt, but this is what I have on. And the movie is called Average Joe. That's the name. The movie is called Average Joe. So that's what we are about to go watch, and I need to hurry up because y'all already know that I'm late to the movie. This is just, it's nothing new. But also, y'all know I don't like watching previews, so I was kind of late on purpose, but I don't want to be, like, too late to the point where I miss the start of it, you know what I'm saying? So, let's go. Okay. 
Love you. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love you. Okay, y'all, so we left the movies and now we're about to go into Kroger. I forgot Kroger is like open mad late. It don't close to like 11, so let's go. We don't need a buggy because we only need like a few things, but we can get one of these. I feel like I stay at a grocery store at this point. Like I'm always at a grocery store, literally. I definitely needed turkey bacon and this turkey bacon, disgusting. I got this one time. I will never get this again. Nasty. If I was y'all, get the uncured hardwood smoked turkey bacon. No matter what brand, it's just better than that and it's better than all this pork. Next y'all, I literally just need some cream cheese and just to be healthy, I'm going to get the less fat kind. And we're gonna hope that it's still good, but yeah. So now I am looking for flowers, and to be honest, there's a number of ones that I see that I like. Um, these are fifty dollars. Pretty amazing. I don't have a vase big enough for that right now, but I do see these orange ones, these pink ones, and I just had red, so I don't want to do red. So now I don't know. <laughs> I do know. <laughs> Y'all know I'm going with pink, like, duh. So pretty. Thank you. Okay, you guys. So we have some packages that I want to show you guys really quick. So the first package, I believe this is from TikTok shop. And hopefully I didn't just show my address, y'all. Anua sent me some skincare. So shout out to them. They sent me their, what is this? They sent me their Pour Deep foaming cleanser niacinamide serum and y'all i have to literally do a video on all of these things so i'm not going to take it out the package rice seven and ceramide hydrating serum oil cleanser and i actually have this i actually use this already but we got a free one so rice and ceramide glow milky toner so excited I have an amazon package first things first you guys i got a pack of headbands and these are supposed to be um headbands that like help you sweat in a sense of it's a certain name for it of course they all come individually in another package but like they're supposed to be sweat headbands basically so when i'm working out and stuff like that they're actually very cute like they don't tie in the back they're very cute and they help with sweat so that's what these are and then you guys i got a new pack of lashes and this is the brand. This is the same brand that I use in my maintenance vlogs. I just got it in a different. I just chipped my nail paint off, y'all. Trying to open this. Okay. So here's what they look like. Very cute. Another package from Amazon. And this is a newer light. Y'all know I'm always trying to find like better ways to just increase my content honestly i feel like there's no such no such thing as like not being able to improve your content literally it's so many things that are like coming out daily weekly monthly to where it's like you can always find something to make your content look better um and it's this light of course it comes looking mad confusing what the light looks like and you're supposed to be able to lift it up because this is like for the warm this is for like that bright light that you look for but you guys it needs batteries so i can't even show y'all this is a package that says it's from sheen and it's a swimming suit you guys the first thing on top of the package is so i did get these 
white boots. Very cute, very calm. These are so cute. I really like the front of them with the gold, but black heels, these stink very bad. This is a very cute long skirt. It's just a long skirt with a slit. I got this green two-piece outfit, nothing crazy or special. White flip-flops. I got a phone case for like underwater. This is a super long flowy dress that kind of has like little flowers on it. It's gonna be super cute. These are some shorts. This is another dress for vacation. This is gonna be so pretty. It has little slits in certain areas. Ooh, beach or by water, wherever. I'm not gonna take this out, but this is literally just one of those like super big hats that you wear on vacation. This is a two piece flowy outfit. Y'all seen these, these are very popular outfits. Um, very cute. This is another outfit I'm going to wear to the Jackie Hill. Um, to the conference y'all that's what I'm gonna be wearing with those black heels that I showed y'all earlier this is super cute I didn't even know I ordered this this is a brown leather shirt I'm sure I ordered this for like anything church event wise tan little sandals a white purse this is a white shirt with a flower on it to match those orange shorts that I showed you guys this is a orange flowy dress very cute vacation vibes black purse mandatory these are the clip-ins like their flower clip-ins a lot of color in them this is a, another swimming suit and it's white and gold this is a white bodysuit this is that i'm a boss leather coat and it's super long i think it was only like 50 dollars, and this was on sheen y'all so if you one of the girlies who spent a hundred dollars on your leather coats, I encourage you to get it off sheen because let me just show y'all up close. It's not no raggedy cheap material. Like it's actually cute. It's very well made and these last you a minute. They last you a minute. This is a one piece outfit, um, very flowy for vacation. This is a cover-up, and I only bought one cover-up this time because I realized every time I go on vacation, y'all, I don't even wear them. I use the same thing, so I bought one tan cover-up to match, like, with everything. Then, you guys, this is kind of like a cardigan. So, um, I'm about to literally put all of these clothes up, get in the shower, get ready, and then I will be right back to you guys so we can go to get some lunch. We're going on a solo date today, and I want to try this taco spot out that I found on TikTok that is in Columbus. So I'll see you guys once I am ready and we're heading out. Okay, you guys, so I am now dressed and I'm gonna be honest, it is later on in the day. I took a very, very, very long time getting ready today, but it was because I truthfully wanted to like get in and do like my full blown shower routine, like shave the right way, wash up with six different soaps, exfoliate. I did all of those things and then I took my hair down and I redid it completely, so that took a while. And then I had to talk to three of my clients back to back to back. So I'm not even gonna lie, it is the afternoon, so we are technically getting dinner, but it's still lunch because um, I have not ate. So we're gonna go take pictures first, and then we're gonna go eat. Y'all know, if you know, you know, you gotta take pictures when you look good. Memories in just to see, like, look at me. Wow, I did not purposely zoom in. <laughs> I did not zoom in on purpose, but y'all will see like my full outfit more so when I am taking pictures, but let's hurry up because your girl is really starving, so let's go. Of course, I had to write this song about you right now. Yeah. I told you I was gonna make this song about you right now. Yeah. Yeah. I literally ordered two things that I've never heard of a day in my life. Um, one was, let me go back to my screenshot real quick. I ordered one Berea Tusquitos, Tusquitos, maybe I don't know what the name of it is. And then I also ordered, it's like a chorizo dip, it has like meat and stuff in it with Doritos, I never had that before. And then I ordered, uh, uh, I don't even know what drink this is, y'all, all of the things that I got, I literally never got before. It's called a Punch Dream Hakeem. 
we're just gonna hope that we like everything. I just like kind of just went with the flow and stuff because I've never been here, so. Oh, it's right here. Thank you. This is what it looks like, guys. I didn't expect it to have all that type of cheese, but I'm gonna try everything. I'm definitely gonna take the majority of it off, but it still looks good and it smells good, so. Okay, y'all, I'm about to try it. I'm gonna take them off. This is the dip. Everything smells so good. I don't really know what this tastes like, but it's good. I like it. So now, y'all, I'm about to try this situation right here. I thought it was like meat in here. Oh, it is. Okay, it is meat, y'all. I'm making a reel as well, so hold on. I just gave it a stir, and that's what it looks like. So now I'm about to try it. It's a lot of meat in it at the bottom. But. I was about to say it's very cheesy. It's good though. I like everything that I got. Literally everything. These though, I gave these a nine out of 10. These are very good. This dip, like a 7.5 But both of them are very good. I'm happy I took pictures. I just dropped some on me. Y'all, I don't never take pictures after I eat, always before. For this reason, they just brought my drink. And I like it. It's good. I'm gonna try to see if my sister will come here with me one of these days because it's super good. I would just have to see what she would eat from here because my sister is a very picky eater. And off of the way it looks, she won't eat it. But it's actually very good. Like it has a lot of coleslaw and like extra stuff on top of it. I just took it off and it's super good. I'm about to sit here and enjoy the rest of my food. And then I'll be back to you guys after this. I'm going to meet my sister at this like, I want to say it's kind of like a museum, but not really. It's called Otherworld. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, you guys, I'm outside at Otherworld. This is what it looks like. It's mad dark. I feel like I'm scared, y'all. Let me get my phone. Look, it still says that I'm paying for parking. So let's get off of that. This my sister. I know. Because you told me that she was gonna be here at 7:45. Oh my god, you smell so good. I said, girl, this is Jimmy Choo. <laughs> Not girl, this is Jimmy Choo. Y'all like my bag? No, they don't. No, Actually. The girl said I smell good. I love when somebody says I smell good. That's just. So she said a girl said she smelled good, and she said, "Girl, this Jimmy Choo." <laughs> Let me lock my doors, y'all. You show them your fit. Now, let me show them. Let me show them. Here. They kind of seen it in a scent. Fit check, fit check, make your bitch. Ain't that no. what she said? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't I that what Roll, uh, what her name is? <laughs> no, I look hard though. You look like a cheetah girl. Cheetah. And I got that that girl. I hope I'm in the camera. I hope you oh, are too. Bad. You could have just turned it around like this. But. In other world, you guys. It don't look like much of nothing yet, but it looks so cute, glowing in the dark already. My twin came with me. They should have got alcohol drinks. I don't want nothing. To do. You can go get something to drink, though. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is so cute. Yeah, you can go to all of them. No fact. Oh no, I wouldn't do this as no hunting house. Oh. This is so cute. This is like a, a laboratory. Oh, who you know? Wait, I can't see myself. There I go. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, we right there too. <laughs> okay, this is like for a child. <gasps> Granny, that one movie with that big bear, remember, in the little girl? Oh, yeah. What was it called, Monsters, Inc.? Yeah. Fire. Now this is cute. Now this is cute, y'all. And then it's a whole nother room. Oh, y'all, you can go out. That's crazy. Granny, you can go in here. Y'all. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's steam. I don't want to go in there like that. Hold on. I can't even. <laughs> I'm happy you came. This is so cute, y'all. This, like, remind me of a basement, though. Yeah, this gives Hunter House right here. Because what is going on? I wonder what this was intended to be. And uh, all them little holes that you see, we can go under there. And go in there to another room. Wait, is this supposed to be a church out of funeral? Oh, no. What are those? <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so cute, and I'm definitely finna sit in here. For sure. Oh no. It moved. Oh no. <laughs> this is like another room, you guys. And it literally looks fake. Like. But look at this. We're not gonna go in here yet, but are you kidding me? Uh, I think come, I'm gonna fall. Come. Okay. You about to show me how to jump on it? <laughs> oh! Ah! guys so today is definitely the next day and I just want to let y'all know that um, I am sorry because I realized that I did Bible study like three two or three times throughout this vlog but I didn't do one where I shared one with y'all so I figured like this is the perfect time to it's the next afternoon I just got some Chipotle and for my true supporters y'all know where I am if y'all see me sitting at this little old bench outside this is what it's looking like Y'all know I love water, truthfully. This is not a game. Um, I truthfully, truthfully love water. So today, we're going to do a Bible study, but I'm gonna eat and stuff, of course. I have my Bible and my devotion in here, and we're gonna get to it after I eat. Um, I'm gonna end up putting on these, but these are just so cute, aren't they? Like, I love them. Um, but I am so like, I don't know. Right now, I really just feel like very good. I feel very content where I am. I feel very happy where I am. And feelings change a lot, right? Like, feelings aren't facts, and that's one thing that I learned over the time of just being upset with somebody or being hurt. Like, feelings aren't facts, and they change so much. But um, when you feel, like, good, try to dwell in that place. Try to, like, continue being in that that space like so that's really just what i do i've been literally going and doing stuff uh throughout this week some stuff i didn't even put on camera but i truthfully have enjoyed my week like i feel very good um y'all know my last vlog was kind of like me getting out of a funk and i am out of that funk thank god so yeah i'm really actually hungry so you're about to go ahead and eat and do this bible study okay <laughs> This day that God has given me, I'm not gonna waste this joy deep down inside me. I'm not gonna shake, been stressed for so long, so stuck in my own way. So I'm enjoy this moment. It's the day that the Lord has made. I thought I wanna die. Blood dripping. 
stopping from mine, just wanna feel inside Too afraid to open up, so I'd rather hide Man, I'm just so grateful that I made it this far Almost thought I had to call my mama in a cup car Benny's everything for me and everything I need I would be nothing if you didn't give me no reason to be young So you guys, I am finally done I've been out here for probably like two-ish hours and I'm excited because I learned today, of course, um, and I also got to actually digest the word. I prayed over it. And now I'm about to share it with you guys. So this is the moment. If you are busy, calm down, sit down somewhere. I don't know, put in some headphones if you have to, to be able to receive it really quick. And sorry, because it is windy, y'all. It's very windy outside. It's been blowing like crazy since I got out here, but I have enjoyed it so I'm about to share it with y'all if y'all don't know I tell you guys all the time this book hopefully you guys can see me I'm so sorry this book is by Jackie Hill Perry it's called upon waking if you want to do a devotional that is very short and it does not take too much of your time if you don't want it to get this book it's a daily devotional I don't read this daily but that is the goal that is the purpose so scripture scripture was over first samuel 17 37 and in this this is the story when saul is talking to david and he is about to fight goliath and basically saul is looking at the outside appearance of the two as far as david and goliath and he is basically projecting the fact that david is not ready for this fight david will be defeated david is He's just not ready. He's not qualified for the fight, right? David tells him that God has already delivered him through so much that he is well prepared for the fight with Goliath. And backstory, David had to fight a bear and a lion to protect sheep and lambs well before, like earlier on in his early years. And because of that, it was preparing him for the fight that he was now about to have to go through. But if he didn't encounter those fights, he would not be prepared. So I feel like what stood out to me is the fact that a lot of the times we definitely look at the outward appearance of things instead of the spiritual part of things. Like when you see somebody that is so much bigger than somebody and you see a small person and say they're about to fight, your automatic assumption would be that the bigger person will win, right? But when you start to look at the spiritual as aspect of things and you start to understand who people is led by, when you see people that is led by Christ, they automatically get the victory out of things, truthfully. But that's not always what we think. And that's not always what we, what we see, honestly. But I think that stood out to me. I wrote a few notes down and I put that David's statement reflects his faith in God and also his belief that God would deliver him. God has been preparing David all of his life for this moment because in his early years he had to fight and kill a lion and a bear. Um, I also put that this is a usual pattern of God's preparation. He calls us to be faithful where we are and then uses our faithfulness to accomplish greater. I believe the importance of this scripture is the faith that David comes with makes all the difference. Looking at the fight he had up against him, anyone would believe he wasn't prepared. But God had already prepared him and he trusted in that. Um, so we have to trust that God will continue to have control over our circumstances even when it doesn't look like it. Things will work out. So with that being said, of course, the the main lesson is in this is to trust in God no matter what things look like. And that is very hard to do. I'm not going to act like it's not but that is that is the purpose if you say that you trust in and you believe in god you have to trust in the fact that he's going to deliver you from whatever he's going to be with you through whatever and you would be victorious if you have him simple as that um jackie perry in her devotional it was definitely just about the scripture of course but she put in how us as humans could be affected by this as well and she said she says that we accomplish so many things right in our daily lives we do so much things we go to school we get degrees we get career jobs we get nice cars we get nice houses we do all of these things but when things fail us sometimes we we strategize before we pray and that's the problem because that's saying that 
okay, let me try to fix this before I even go to God and ask him to intervene for me. So just being aware and careful of the things that we do when things are filling us is important because we have to make sure that we go to God and make sure that our moves is what's best for us in the first place. Like you don't want to rush things. You don't want to think that you're in control of things because ultimately you are not. So that's the lesson that I really learned from hers. Um, and also that God isn't a fan of pridefulness. David could have easily boasted about what he did. Um, and instead he chose to give God the glory out of that circumstance. The last note that I put for the devotional was, you can't defeat anything with your ego. You can only succeed in our fights if God fights for us. And I truthfully believe in that. <laughs> I truthfully believe in that. So that was the word on today. I hope it helps you guys. I am definitely going to make sure I try my best to remember this even in the times where I might feel like I am so big and bad because it's very important to acknowledge all the time where your blessings come from period point blank but that is it for today you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope this last message to you um, stood out to you in a way and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I love y'all. Make sure y'all leave a comment. Make sure y'all let me know what you learned from this video. And I love y'all, of course. Make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram or any of my other social media platforms. They're all in the description box. Spend some time with Jesus. Don't just watch me. I truthfully want all of you guys to do the same thing. And yeah, we're out. Bye!